Neighbors, this is Steve from Steve's Farm Adventure. It's a beautiful day here in the Piedmont Triad, North Carolina, and we've got a lot of things to do today. Um, biggest thing that we're going to put out our video on is mowing hay with antique mowing equipment. It uh, we've got about a 1967 model. 2000 Ford tractor and a going to mow. We mow our hay with a sickle bar mower and we're going to film that in a little bit. So this morning we're get, going to get everything ready and we'll show you some of that while we get it ready and get it set up. We mow, we mow our hay about four inches, three to half, between three and four inches, it varies. It uh, and this week's supposed to be a pretty dry week and uh, it's a little breezy today so uh, it won't be a whole lot of sound in the video because we'll try to mute the wind out of it and uh, give you some voiceover to describe what we're doing but anyway we're glad you're here we hope you like it we hope you'll subscribe if you haven't and we hope you'll share us all across your social social media platforms with all your friends it uh we're we're pretty small as you know we've got 64 subscribers we're really trying to get to that you know 100 mark so that's our that's our goal right now and we appreciate all the support that we've gotten from all of you our viewers and our friends and all of our viewers are our friends so anyway without further ado we'll get started and all right friends we're going to put this foot i don't know if you can see it in the camera but i think you can we're going to put this foot down so that it gives us our height of cut and this is a sickle bar motor this is a new holland Seven Ford 2000 track might be a 68 I'm not sure but anyway this is what we're going to mow hay with today so right now we've got to get some service things going on with it grease it up and all that good stuff so bear with us and uh, come along for the ride Yeah, I'm getting ready to clean the knuckles right here. They got a little dirt and grease from all on them from over the winter. So they can squirt a little bit of mean green on there and clean all the dirt and everything off of it. So I can get ready to. As I clean it off, what I'm doing, I'm cleaning the grease certs off of it where they won't put oil and, and old dirt down inside the grease. So that this is cleaning off the dirt where it was touching the ground over the winter time, which allows me to, to grease it really well because these things move real fast. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of movement in those knuckles that's a high wear item so you really have to grease them quite a bit
I want to start greasing it. You have to uh, take a grease gun and put a little high temperature <clears throat> red tack grease on it. it uh, some of these grease certs are really hard to get to. So we'll continue on in high speed mode trying to trying to get that. You can see the grease gun hanging off right there and trying to get my hands in there to put the those there's a couple in there that are really hard to lifting it gonna lift it up and uh, <clears throat> this is how you transport it but you have to walk with your hands flat on that bar because if you get your fingers in there and that blade drops down it'll just clip your finger right off There's been many a man or many a farm worker lose fingers on a sickle bar mower they're also really bad to catch dog's legs and you know deer or whatever you hit them with because those little things work back and forth like a pair of scissors, and that is clip you right off right there, and uh, you have a terrible time. This takes quite a little while to do it uh, because of the grease the amount of grease certs and the amount of maneuvering back and forth to try to get it to where you can get to them and uh, and get them greased we're going to raise it up and down and just every which way any way we can to try to maneuver it to where you can get in there and get get that head greased good because I think there's six grease certs in that thing in that shaker box <clears throat> and like I said it's pretty difficult to get in there and do that so uh, we're going to stay in fast motion here and keep try to keep the video time down a little bit Thank you. 
right, we got her lubed up, hold up, adjusted, and we're going to move the camera out to the front where you can see us, and continue from here. Have to pull out around the wheel. Let me swing out, get seven foot blade out around it. And then I swerve back in, try to get back in line as I come by here.
We're about to finish up today. This is a three acre, about a three acre field of orchard grass and fescue. And as we finish it up, we appreciate y'all coming. Hope you enjoy yourself. Please subscribe. And we hope you have a great day. And uh, we'll be making the final lap or so right here. So again, thanks for coming. And hit that like button. Give us a thumbs up and go ahead and tap the bell. We really appreciate it. Thanks again. See you in the next video. We're going to be finishing up mowing the front field today. This is about a three acre field of orchard grass and fescue. We appreciate y'all coming. Hope you had a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't. Come back and enjoy the farm with us some more. Thanks a lot.